What's going on guys? My name is ShadowGool131 and we are back today with another episode of our Pokemon Moon Let's Play. Getting ready, I think, to go take on a trial here. I think our last trial, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Leading off the pack is Fred, level 41, with uh, Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Venushock, Sludge Bomb, and Fireium Z. Zeke, level 42, with Rock Tomb, Sand Attack, Crunch, Counter, and Rockium Z. Sparky's level 46 with X Scissor, Spark, Mud Slap, Crunch, and Electrium Z. Skippy is level 44 with Aqua Jet, Moon Blast, Sparkling Aria, Hyper Voice, and Primarium Z. Crabrawler is level 42 with Power Up Punch, Reversal, Crab Hammer, Dizzy Punch, Phytinium Z. And Dr. Sleep is level 40 with Chip Away, Giga Impact, Hold Back, Happy Hour, and Snorlium Z. Um, I think I kind of want to put him out front, actually. So, let's go ahead and drag him up there, level him up a little bit, but alright, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, jump right in. We've already kind of explored through here as best we can, let me, um, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm just going to browse with Stoutland for a second, I can't remember if we did this already, so... Doesn't seem like there's really anything over here, though. So we'll just go ahead and uh, head on in. I'm pumped, you guys. Ruins of Hope. Oh, yeah, that's right. Not a try. We're at the ruins for now. All right. Are we actually going to be able to go inside these ones? We always get, we always get stopped right at the outside. <clears throat> The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But if we go in there, maybe Nemi will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds promising. That's right, it does, Shadow. I'm going to give it all my all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. So just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Shadow, let's go. Yo, I'm kind of like, we're actually going in these ruins right now. That's actually kind of scary. Alright, so we're going to have to shove these all around. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> She's not moving those. I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than words can even express. Alright, we'll have to borrow a champ's formidable strength for this task. Standing before a rock and pressing B. So, let's go ahead and... I think we want to go this way. I guess, I don't really know actually. Yeah, I think we want to go this way. So that we can push that one over. Oh, I was holding B this whole time. He does it himself. That's pretty cool. Alright, and now we can go back this way. That was easy. Alright. Come on, Lily. Oh, she doesn't even care. Alright. So, do we need those through the next tunnel, or... What? There's Hapu. This is so intense. I love the lore and the, like, oh my god, this game is so cool. I've read about them, you know. Alola's sacred ruins and the garden deities worshipped within them. They go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The books say that they are, well, capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't any... Uh, and he hasn't evoked any response from Nebby. Oh, there's Hapu. What's she doing? Hmm. 
What is that? Kind of looks like the sparkling stone. I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people. And the Pokemon of Alola. Oh, so you two were watching. <laughs> she sounds not very thrilled. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, Shadow? You came to Alola from far off. You must really be something, then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen for this honor. The honor of being our island's Kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a Kahuna on Pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, traveling to Alola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the Kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the Altar of the Moon. My mother disappeared into the beast world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she is still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beasts, eh? Is that what the thing that was that came to Pony Island? A beast? Tapu Fini and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much, just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It seems my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the lake on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know why they are of all places, but it has been passed down that that's where it belongs. Executor Island? I think I've read about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony, isn't that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let us go and speak with the Sea Folk's chief. Lily, you take Mudsail. We'll go to Sea Folk Village. Well, okay then. Back to Sea Folk Village on the double. Okay, Rotom, whatever you say, boss. Alrighty. We're getting close to something big, you guys. And I am I am actually really excited about it. So you already know that Lunala is joining our team. I don't know what type she is. I don't I don't know. Psychic probably. Psychic Dark or maybe something like that. Psychic Steel. Pony Breaker Coast. So let's head back to Seafolk Village. I think we're close to to the the place we need to be to evolve our what's his name? Did I battle this guy? What's his name? What's a, what is our guy's name? Sparky. We're getting close to evolving Sparky, I believe. All right, let's see what this fuss is all about. Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. That's what friends do. Friends? An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend? Thank you, Hapu. I will not give up no matter what. <clears throat> to journey to Executor Island, you should speak with the Chief of the Sea Folk. I shall be wishing for your safety. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we might be about to get our hands on an Alolan Executor too, which I am super pumped about. We might have to see if that bad boy can join the team. I can't believe you get those so late in this game, that's crazy to me. Yes, and Hapu has made the new Kahuna. Oh, now that's a joy to my ears, her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. 
Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake, and for Nebby as well. And so, there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island. Oh, you mean where the flute is. <laughs> well, you two did meet the Kahuna already. And Pony's Captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point on waiting any waiting on any trials. Well, okay then. That answers that. I swear, I thought we were going to have a trial today. Well, maybe not. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know if there's one more trial and then we face the Kahuna, or if the Kahuna's the last trial. It sounds like there's a captain. Um, so, I mean, that's cool. We'll get two more battles out of that. Alright, we're on Executor Island, finally. Oh, excuse me, guys. I do apologize for that. Here we are at Executor Island. I heard that this place used to be a trial site, though. That was a long time ago now. You go on. Good luck to you both. Let's go find that flute, right? Trainers really can't go anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. Keep. I know her voice keeps coming and going, guys. I do apologize. I can't get. I can't get it. I can't find it or something. I don't know. I should have watched like some of my older episodes. For I. I nailed her voice in the beginning. All right. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future as long as they have their Pokemon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Shadow. And Hapu and How too. Oh boy. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah, what is that, Shadow? Yo. Yes. Look at it. Oh, he's hilarious. He's absolutely hilarious. He's got Frisk. This thing, this thing is living a chip away, right? We're faster? Oh, you're gonna confuse us. That's no fun. Alright, let's go for another chip away. And I want to go for a hold back this time. Jeez, that does a lot. No! Okay, alright, okay. Alright, you need to get in this Pokeball right now. Right now. Please. Because if you would hammer again, you're going to die. And I'm sure these things are not rare here. But. Oh, don't one hammer. Don't, don't, don't. No! <laughs> It's gonna kill us and him. Oh, that sucks. Dang it. Well, oh well. Zeke gains a level. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Well, so much for that. Phew! That was an executor, wasn't it? I think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I'd prefer. What's wrong with Lily? What was that? What was that, you guys? I feel like... I feel like that was inappropriate. <laughs> oh my god. The way she, like, paused... was really kind of weird. There ain't no items over here. Come on. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it started to rain. Is that another executor? I can hear him. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking out at the rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie, this man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain and she was so shocked that she ran right out after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But 
Then she changed, and all she would think about was the Ultra Beasts, and Null, and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much, and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Shadow? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and... You do something. Every time you've shown me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked, and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Um... Shadow, what are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Build my Pokedex. It must be nice knowing what you want to do. I really admire that. I think I'd like to become a trainer too and travel together with you, Shadow. Oh yeah? Well, alright then. I think we got ourselves a girlfriend. Ah! Oh, a rainbow. I feel really bad for Lily, you guys. Like, she makes me really sad. She, I mean, I know, like, this is like a happy time and a cute time or whatever it is, but as a, as a character, she really bums me out. <laughs> Prism scale, those are useful. It looks like there's nobody here. I don't think there's any trainers here. Which is fine. There's the flute. This is a weird little place. There's not really much here at all. Shadow! A flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Dude, I want one of those in real life. That thing is awesome. I don't know if it would really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sound of the flutes and offering like people used to. So thank you for coming this far with me, Shadow. Let's go meet the Chief of the Sea Folk and get back to Pony Island. I am not leaving this island without an executor. I am sorry, Lily, but you are going to have to hold up. Hopefully the chief has food on the boat or something. Because I am... <laughs> I guess I'm, leaving, guess I'm leaving it without a... Without a whatever you call it. Alright. So, we will stop at the Pokemon Center. Oh, God. I cannot stop yawning. The vast Pony Canyon lies up ahead. I'm excited because that has the place where Sparky's going to evolve. I'm kind of kind of nervous. Like he's been charge bug for a long time. I'm afraid. What if I don't like Vikable? I know I used to. Like I liked the idea of him, but what if I'm so used to having charge bug that I don't like it? Then what? Then what are we going to do? Then it's going to be awkward. <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's one of those days I'm tired, so I'm just saying stuff, you know. It's been a while since I've had a video like that. Alright, so we are going to go... We can't go that way. I really am tempted to do, a, like, a repel. Because I don't want to face all these wild Pokemon. Especially because they are mostly only gumshoes, which is... Frankly, not super exciting at all. So we're just gonna run. I was I did not think we we're gonna be able to run from that. I, after we ran, I was like, why do I have Snorlax out front? But we're okay. Alright. So it looks like we're supposed to be going that way. I'm excited. Vast Pony Canyon. I wonder if it's like actually like huge or if they just if it's just the name. Actually, let me go up here for a second. Because I don't think we explored up in here at all. So I'm going to check this out real quick. And maybe maybe after that we'll wrap this episode up and start, out, start down Vast Pony Canyon in the next episode. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll make this episode a little bit longer. Um, okay, this thing's got a Turtinator, which is actually going to be kind of tough. But a Giga Impact should really hurt because of your because we're a Snorlax. 
and we still outspeed. Look at that. Snorlax is a monster. We're going to take a body slam. It's not going to do too much. Not too much at all. And so we got to recharge there. So we're going to we're going to take a shell smash, and we're going to see a shell smash, um, which actually might get us the kill, except for the speed boost. So he's going to be faster than us now, probably. And this is going to hurt a little bit more. I like doubled his doubled his body slam. And we still did not get enough to kill, but we should have enough HP to live. Oh god, maybe not. Dang it! You would think, I just I just take advantage of him. He's so bulky that I'm like, you know what, he's fine. We, we're fine, we're fine. He's so, so bulky, but I mean, he's still... Yeah, I just need to be, be smarter about it. Let's go for the Aqua Jet, get that priority, and get that KO. I think this thing is fire type. Maybe not, that wasn't super effective. The colors make me think it's fire type. And you're gonna send in Drampa, which we haven't seen yet. Drampa is dragon type. Dragon's weak to ice. What else is dragon weak to? Dragon and maybe fairy. So I'm gonna stay in. Drampa is such a cool Pokemon. He's so, like, goofy looking. I love it. Let's go for a Moon Blast here. That should really hurt. Oh, yeah. We're gonna one-shot you. We do not care about you at all. Good job, Sparky. And Fred gains a level out of it. And now we have to go ahead and waste a revive. We have to waste a revive here. But that's why we bought them. That's what they're there for. And now if we go for a Hyper Potion. We got a lot of new stuff. Crabrawler can learn Frost Breath? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Do you guys think there's anything up here? I mean, there's something. Pony Grove. Sure, you can go on through here when you're a champion. That Oh, so we can't even go through here. Well, okay then. So much for that. And they can't ride Stoutland. I was going to say, it feels like there would be some hidden stuff back in here, but apparently not. Apparently not. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, I thought that was a shiny for a second, you guys. I almost screamed. I thought that was a shiny. Whoa, okay. I was... Oh, man, that... Level 43 in the wild. That's nuts. Let's go ahead and run. Of course, we're not going to run. Let's try and run. We're not going to run. Let's go ahead and run again. Come on, Dr. Sleep. You got this, dude. There we go. See, he just needed a little confidence booster. He's good. He's good. You know, he'd probably live more hits or at least, like, live on one for me a couple times. If I fed him some... What are those? What do we get? If, we, if I fed him some beans and, uh... Oh, God. Fed him some beans and maybe rubbed his belly every once in a while. But I just don't, don't really want to do that. You tell me we're going to fight all six of these people? Are you joking? You're from Team Skull. What is it that you want from us? Here they come. I heard about you numbskulls at Aether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk even if we have to cut you to the bone. If you think this is the way to get information from us, you are sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. Team Skull Grunt sent out Fomantis. Why do you have a Fomantis at this level? Why is it not a Lorantis yet? You have a level 44 Fomantis. Do you know how stupid that makes you look? We're just going to Giga Impact and destroy you. Wasting my time. Am I really going to have to do this to all six of you? Please, tell me you're joking. 
Ow, that hurts. Even my head hurts. What do you think? What did you expect? Challenge a Snorlax with a Fomantis? Okay, so you cut me to the bone. Ouch. Here's Plumeria. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once, then. What? No way. You're challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Slammed it. Again. Poor choice. Go back and grind for a female. Because we're gonna pretty easily be able to wipe him off the face of the earth. We are gonna take a Toxic though, and that does suck. Means I'm gonna have to pet Snorlax after this. Which... It's not that fun. Alright. Skippy gains a level out of that. We are poisoned. It's unfortunate. And you're gonna send in Eradicate. We are going to switch ourselves out into our Crib Brawler, who has not made an appearance in quite some time. I keep forgetting about him. Because again, he's he's a he's a Pokemon like like Fred, where he's still in his stage one. He's not, you know, he's not that impressive, really. This might kill, actually, after that recoil. How does it live? Oh, I wish we had some kind of, some kind of priority. because our power-up punch would, would easily kill this thing. Let's go... I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch. Zeke should be able to live a hit and then be able to easily kill this thing. Double edge. Yeah, perfect. Not very effective. And he's gonna kill himself to the recoil. Perfect. Alright, what else you got? You got a Haunter. We'll keep battling. I think we got Crunch on here still. So that should not be too troubling. Whoops. So if I pick Counter... Um, I th does Counter only work for physical damage? Yeah. I thought so. Let's go for Crunch. We might actually die here. Oh, nope. That should one-shot. Nice. Good job, Zeke. Good job, buddy. I miss Zeke, you guys. Zeke is my mom and dad's dog, and I miss him. Storm block? No, we don't want block. Waste of a space. And you're gonna send in Golbat. We'll keep battling. Hopefully we can outspeed a Golbat and one-shot it with a Rock Slide. I mean Rock Tomb. That should have been shot. No, I guess not. You're going to do a haze, which is okay with me. Removes all stat changes. Yep, I thought so. And this should kill. Good job, Zeke. Okay. And he's going to gain a level. And Crabrawler's going to gain a level. Very nice. Marini. Marini? I don't know what type she is. Water poison? Let's switch out to Sparky. Just because I'm really not sure what type Marini is. I would I want I would guess water poison because you can fish her up or she hunts for Corsola. And she's poison, I know that much for sure. So let's go for a spark and just see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not messing around at all. Good job, Sparky. Let's go ahead and heal up our Snorlax. Our 200% is like, what percentage of your strength? Yeah, dude. You're seriously awful. Okay, Snorlax. That's all you get, buddy. Sorry. 
freaks me out. <laughs> what is your guys' least favorite Pokemon to use in Pokemon Refresh? I'm not giving up even though you beat me. I'm part of Team Skull. We're thick as anything. That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Hmm, you girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to do, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president? My mother is... She's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her, and I think I can save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the president. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. Dang, this game is deep. And you, Shadow. Looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of our little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poisonium Z. Nice. Poisonium Z. Oh yeah, you got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Shadow? You'd better take care of it. That's one special Z-ring you got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, man. I'm out of here. You guys, this game is so awesome. Like, legit, this game is amazing. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me again, Shadow. And here, let me thank your team, too. Thank you, Lily. Alright, Shadow, let's go to the altar. The vast Pony Canyon lies ahead of us. Oh, that's cool. It's just like the Grand Canyon. Alright, we are going to wrap it up right here, though, you guys. We will pick up here at the beginning of the next episode and hopefully make it all the way to the altar and all that good stuff. Maybe catch ourselves a Lunala, which I'm super pumped about. If you guys enjoyed and are enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like for me down below. Let me know any thoughts and stuff down in the comments. Otherwise, that's going to go ahead and do it for me. I will see you guys in the next episode.